What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Adobe After Effects, and this is my gear lesson. I've uploaded two videos. One was basically this one right here. Let's go ahead and run through it. It's really simple. Uh, the outside moves, the inside moves, and the gears move around in different sequences. And then the second one that I uploaded was this one right here, which, uh, as they turn around, they change colors. And so uh, that's pretty cool. And then I just added these two together. That way you can tell the difference between the two of them. And so, uh, all right, let's go ahead and dive into this one. So uh, let's go ahead and close out of these three. And composition, new composition, 960 by 720, 29.97. And we're going to do this, do this for five seconds. I need to learn how to talk and black background click ok and the first thing we want to do is come over here to our lips tool if your lips tool is not showing uh, left click hold down and choose ellipse tool double click on it and it will add your lips to your form or your stage or whatever you want to call it and let's go ahead and make our circle and that looks good to me okay now let's first thing we want to do is come over here lips down choose feel and delete it okay so the next thing that we're going to be doing here is that we're going to come down to our stroke and then with our stroke selected we're going to come to our stroke width and we're going to set it at seven and then we're going to come down and choose this little plus right here at a dash or gap and then we're going to change this to 800 and then 800 will give us these two lines right here okay and then the next thing that we want to do is we're going to drag this all the way out to about here and we're going to uh, do our keyframe and then we're going to drag it right here to the end where we're going to set another keyframe for about 1578 so that's one five seven eight and hit enter and so basically uh, whenever it runs it's going to stay still until it gets to the very end and then it's going to rotate completely around okay so that right there will take care of our outer ring and we're going to name this one <coughs> outer Okay, and now what we want to do is choose outer and just hit Control D to duplicate it. Drag this one to the bottom, and we want to name this one Enter. So click on your Enter key and then type in Enter. Okay, and now what we're going to do with this one is the first thing is that we got to resize it. So let's go ahead and hit Scale, and let's resize it in. Okay, and now what we want to do here is drop down our arrow and choose our lips, our stroke one. And then the first thing we want to do here is our stroke width. We want to set it at 34. And as you can see, it gives us a wider stroke than what our outer is. And so now let's come down to our dash. Okay, we're going to leave it at uh, 800. And then we're going to do an offset. Let's come here, click, and then we want to come out to the one. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's come back here with this one chosen, and we're going to choose 779. And then we're going to come out here to the one. We're going to set this to zero. And so basically it's going to do like this right here, and it's going to stop. Okay, then we're going to come out to our 10 should be right up in here and then we want to do uh, a keyframe here and then we're going to come out to three should be right up in there select this keyframe control C command C on the Mac control V command V on the Mac and then that way we've got this effect here it goes oops and let's <laughs> delete this one I'm sorry, I told you the wrong one to grab. We want to grab the first one, Control-C, Command-V. 
now it'll be like this okay so that's what we want for our second one okay so we've got our outer and our inner our outer will go there at the end okay now let's bring this one up okay now we want to duplicate this one drag it down to the bottom and let's rename this one center outer we want to scale this one so click on your s for scale and then we want to change this to 69 point oops sorry 69.8 okay and then that right there is going to drop it in about right up in there okay now let's come down and choose our content our lips our stroke and then our dashes and we also want to get rid of our keyframes that are already there because we do not need the same keyframes okay the first thing we want to do is that our stroke width we're going to set it at nine and then our dashes we are going to set at 19 and then our very first keyframe here right here at the very beginning we're going to set this one at 1558 okay and then go ahead and set our stopwatch there and then we want to drag this out to one and we want to set it at zero and then drag this one out to about up in here and then we want to grab a hold of our zero and copy and paste it over and then we want to come out to about in between our two and our ten and then we want to copy this one and paste this one out and so it should be something like this okay and now for our last one let's go ahead and duplicate this one one more time and this is going to be our center inner okay and now let's click S for scale and we're going to do this one at 62.8 62.8 and that uh, centers that one right nicely in the middle. Okay, uh, now here we want to get rid of our keyframes, create a new keyframe, and set this one at 779. And then everything else is right, 9, okay. And then our dash is going to be set at 41. And then we're going to drag this one out to 1. And we're going to set this at 0. And then we're going to come all the way out just a little bit past our 10, about here. And we're going to set this one at zero so let's go ahead and keyframe it there then we're going to come a little bit past our four to about right up in here and then we're going to copy this keyframe whoops sorry copy this keyframe okay so it should look like this okay hopefully i didn't confuse anybody with my steps i was looking at my other monitor while doing this as well so uh i wouldn't uh give you the wrong information because i wanted to look exactly the way that it does in the two videos that i uploaded and uh but anyway i mean this is a really cool way of doing this effect and so but um if you want to add color to it uh, let's come up here and Let's go ahead and create a new composition and leave it all the same. Click OK. Let's choose everything here, copy and paste it over to here. And now what we want to do is that we want to come in here to our color, which is right here. And so basically you're going to start off here, create a keyframe there, and then add red, come out to two blue and then come back over to here click on this one and paste it 
and so now our outer ring as you can see our outer ring is changing colors and if you want your outer ring to change with this as it's going around then you can go right here on this keyframe and then click here choose a blue and then come right there to the end and go back to white so it should look something like this pretty cool and so then you just do the same thing with your um, inner ring as well And so now this is what the color one will look like. So, all right, well, this is Wayne Brown with DarkEffects.net inside of Adobe After Effects. And uh, I hope that y'all enjoyed this quick lesson, and uh, y'all have a rocking week now. Bye-bye.